Okay, another example of a velocity distance and time problem. Charlie wanted to determine the distance to the bottom of the canyon. If he yells looking down, he knows that the speed of sound is 330 meters per second. He also timed how long to hear the echo return from the bottom of the canyon to him is 3.85 seconds. So what do we know? We know time and we know velocity. Okay, what's he wanting to determine? Distance. So what's going on? Here's Charlie standing up here and he yells down. It hits the bottom of the canyon and comes back up. We know we are trying to find this distance. We know the time, they tell us, and the time it goes back down, comes back up. We know the time to do the down and back up time is 3.85 seconds. And we know velocity of sound is 330 meters per second. So what do we got? We got the time to go down and up, we're wanting distance, and we know velocity. Well the first thing do we really need the time, if we're wanting to find the distance down, do we need the time to go down and back? No. So we need half that time. So we've got time that goes for the sound to go down and back up. We know is 3.85 seconds. We want the time to go down, which is half of the 3.85 seconds. So we take the time, divide it in half, to give us 1.925 seconds. So now we know that. Now we're trying to find distance. We know the formula we need is velocity is equal to the change in distance over the change in time. We know velocity is 330. We know distance is what we're hunting. We know the time is 1.925. So, to find that, we know distance has to be 330 times 1.925, which is 635.25 or 0.3 meters. Well, we want three significant digits. There's our three. So 365 meters to the bottom of the canyon.